The Indoor Football League is filled with players who just missed the cut to the next level and go to teams like the Massachusetts Pirates to give them another shot at their dream. Quarterback Mike Glass not only missed the cut, but has been doubted his entire football career. The Pirates decided to give Glass a shot during the 2022 season, and it worked out better than they could have ever imagined. Due to his underdog mentality and immense talent, Glass made big plays when the Pirates needed it most. Mike Glass is the true underdog, and this is his story. Mike Glass III began his football career in St. Louis, Missouri, and was looked at as an underdog throughout his childhood. When you hear the word underdog, what's the first thing that comes to mind? The first thing that comes to my mind is me. And the reason I say that, just looking back on my journey, uh, I, I believe I have the true underdog story. Uh, never having the opportunity to start right away, nothing was ever given to me. Uh, one of my little league coaches actually told my mama that, I don't need to worry about playing high school football. So it started from Little League. Like my, my underdog story started from when I was seven. For every team Glass suited up for, he was the last string to begin the season and had to fight his way to the starting job. But he didn't allow this to deter his confidence and instead used his faith in God's path to keep him motivated. Throughout your path, especially when you felt like your talent was being overlooked, um, was there any saying or motivational quote that, that you kept in your mind to help motivate you? Yeah, so I had three. The first one was, God got me. You know, uh, it all starts with God, you know. He's the reason that I'm here in this position right now. He, my story was already written before I was born, you know, so I just, I always have God in, in my corner. But I, with God on my side, I won't lose. And another one is, uh, keep going, no matter what. Put one foot in the front of the other and get to your destination. No matter if it's slower than anticipated, than you thought, or any of that. As long as you get to your destination, that's what matters. If you quit, then you, you lose, you know what I'm saying? So you just gotta keep going. And then the last one was, tough times don't last forever, tough people do. You know, you just gotta weather the storm sometimes. Glass played high school football for three different schools. During those four years, Glass dominated and was awarded for his impressive play by being named the all-conference team every year, all-district three years, and all-state two years, while also being selected for the Suburban South Player of the Year twice and also was awarded the Hawk Award. Despite his impressive high school resume, Glass received zero offers from colleges, but decided to keep fighting for his dream and played for two junior colleges for his freshman and sophomore year in order to get a Division I offer. Glass finally got that D1 offer that he had worked so hard for, and it came from Eastern Michigan. He made the most of his chances to showcase his talents for a D1 program, helping EMU have back-to-back -back winning seasons and bowl appearances. During his senior season, Glass went off, breaking the school record for single season total touchdowns, passing touchdowns, total yards, passes completed, led the MAC in every passing category, and finished 14th in the country in total offense. His record-breaking performance helped him be selected for the second team All-MAC. Despite Glass's impressive senior year, he wasn't drafted out of college since he wasn't able to work out for NFL teams like normal prospects due to the COVID-19 pandemic shutting everything down. Glass used that time to keep training and coached football at the University of Dayton. After you ended up graduating Eastern Michigan, breaking all those records, um, and then COVID happened, how tough was that mentally going through that, figuring out what was next? I ain't gonna lie, that was probably one of the toughest times um, I've had like with, with sports. Yeah, I ain't gonna sit here and act like I was just, I just knew the whole time that I was gonna go professional and all of that. It was tough, it was real tough. It was times where I was like, man, I don't wanna do this no more. But I had a strong support system back home that, that told me to just keep going, just keep fighting. Every day, even if I didn't want to, I still got up and, and I went and worked. Glass's belief in his dream and hard work finally paid off when Pirates founder and general manager Jawad Yatim reached out to sign him for the 2022 season. The work didn't stop there as Mike once again had to fight his way to the starting job and began the season as the backup. What really helped you 
continue to stay motivated, especially like once you got to the Pirates, like once you first stepped on that field and signed that contract, um, what really motivated you to help you get to where you are today? Just my past and all the stuff that I've been through and had to deal with and overcome. I came too far to turn back. Mm. Uh, so I just, I use that as motivation to, I'm closer to my goals than when I first started. So mm -hmm. why stop now? This was a tall task for Glass, since at the time he was competing with a quarterback in Alejandro Benefield, who led the Pirates to a United Bowl championship a year prior and was named the MVP of that championship game. Mike's the hardest worker we have, even as a backup, uh, possibly no chance to get in through injuries. Whatever the case may be, Mike's going to work the hardest out of anybody. He's early to practice, he's early to games, he's running outside, he's staying after to talk to coaches about plays and everything. Mike's a great guy. But in game five of the 2022 season, Class finally got his shot to start under center against the Iowa Barnstormers after Benefield sustained an injury in Green Bay. Glass showed the DCU home crowd what he could do by scoring five total touchdowns with four through the air and one on the ground to help the Pirates clinch the victory 36 to 22. And when you when you had the opportunity to fill in for Alejandro, um, especially to start off the season, how did you really try to seize that opportunity? I was able to do it because I've done it plenty of times before. After a few games and coming in and starting to make an impact, and I was able to do that. Uh, I had a great game, you know. Um, I was comfortable. It took four weeks for Glass to get another shot as a signal caller for the Pirates, but he fully took advantage of the opportunity. During week 11, Benefield was sidelined with an injury with 33 seconds left in the game and the Pirates trailing 42 to 36 against the Sioux Falls Storm. The Pirates turned to Glass to win the game and he answered the call. Glass wants to throw, caught, wow. touchdown! Thomas Owens ties the game with six seconds to play. Looking at that huddle right before the, the game winning play, what is going through your mind and, and really how do you not allow the moment get to you? Um, I'm always locked in, especially on the field. You got to be locked in. You can't, you can't get caught up in the moment because when you get caught up in the moment, that's how you lose the game. Mm. You, can, you, have to, you have to cease the moment. Mm. You, know, you just have to stay calm in those situations and just treat them for what they are. You know? Just another play in the game. Massachusetts found themselves in a very similar situation the very next week against the Bismarck Bucks, but this time Glass started under center. He continued to show his ability to come up in the clutch when the Pirates need it most. Glass steps up and throws. Got oh, Harrington. Harrington for the touchdown! Let the kids scramble around and make a play. He's always keeping his eyes downfield. Defense doesn't know whether he's going to run the ball. Defensive backs come off their targets. Guys come open and Mike makes plays. I know sometimes, like, in those situations where it's crunch time, that they can count on me, you know. And I just want to show the coaches as well and the owner that you can count on Mike Glass to make plays when plays need to be made. Unfortunately, after this appearance, Glass sustained an injury that kept him off the field until week 19. He also credited his success in those big moments to the support of Pirates Nation. Anyone that supports you, you know, it's extended family. Glass has used his long journey to motivate him rather than put him down. Keep going, keep going. Because tough times, like I said, tough times don't last forever. You know, so that right opportunity is gonna happen at the right time. And why? Because God already read your story. Mike Glass's inspiring journey is a perfect example to never give up on your dreams and to keep pushing forward no matter who doubts you. Glass will now look to continue his journey and move up to the next level but he couldn't have got to this point without being the true underdog.